Twitter was an idea of Jack Dorsey, who was um, the co-founder of Twitter and was an engineer at Odeo. So he had the idea of creating sort of a social status broadcast system a long time ago. And at Odeo, we were, we were toying with some new ideas, sort of in a brainstorm mode, actually, because we weren't in love with what we were doing, frankly. So um, one, of the, one of the areas we were focusing on was mobile. So one of the problems I saw with audio and podcasts was we needed to get to where is the most compelling or only interesting form of media, and that's not in front of the computer. That's like the original idea of podcasting when you're out and about, when you're, when you're walking down the street or in your car. And getting it to the iPod is difficult. Getting it to the phone may be easy or easier. And, and Jack kind of put two and two together and said, well, SMS could be a transport port mechanism for this idea of status. And um, we, could, we could tie the, the audio message into that. We basically said, well, we could do that and then tie it to audio, but what if we throw the audio part out <laughs> and then we'll have something that doesn't relate to audio at all, but is kind of interesting. So um, we just build a prototype, uh, Jack and, and Biz, and we started using it and found it interesting. It was instantly pretty compelling. It was, uh, we're using it through our phones and through text message. At the time, I, don't, I at least hadn't used text messages a lot, so I'm sort of a, a fan of SMS because it's, it's elegant and, and instantaneous and mobile. And to get these messages, um, it was just fun. It's sort of the same, I think, the endorphin rush that, that drives a lot of the social activities on, on the web and everywhere else uh, happened within this very simple, with this very simple mechanism. There's a very strong sense that what makes Twitter work is simplicity. And the word simplicity is always used around here where we want to add things. There are obvious things to add and our users want them and we want them. And then we come back to how do we do that without making it more complicated? And that, a lot of that goes back to SMS, I think, because it, there's sort of a philosophy, well, it should work as well through SMS as anything else. Because not just because SMS is that important, but because we've gotten so many hidden benefits, I think, from that simplicity that we don't want to ever lose that. Our biggest de design challenge today is, is really answering that question. Because there are so many things that, are, um, that we really want to do now and that seem obvious to do. But how do we do them and maintain the, the elegance that we have today? One of the other really important aspects of Twitter is, is that it's real time. And that sort of informs a lot of things in terms of what we want to do or what, what need we want to serve. Is that how can we, we get information in people faster than um, anything else? And it's not in all cases, but in a lot of cases. And that even for the classic use of what are you doing, you hear from a friend or they're eating lunch at some restaurant and the, the uses that people point to as trivial um, become non-trivial if, if you consider the real-time aspect and that you care about the person sending it. Because without, it's not interesting to hear from a friend that they had lunch last week over at this restaurant that you've been to. But in the moment, it creates a sense of connection that, that isn't otherwise possible.